In this video, we're going to talk about React Native Expo push notifications. I'll show you how to get up and running in about one minute. You'll be able to send your first push notification to yourself in about a minute and a half. And uh, we'll go over some uh, things like how to get uh, push notifications ready uh, for the Apple and the Google app stores and things like that. So we'll go ahead and get started. Before I get started though, uh, if you like videos about development, things like Expo, React Native, Flutter, things like that, I make a lot of videos on that. Uh, be sure to subscribe, hit the bell icon. We come out with videos all the time. And we'll go ahead and get started. The first step, if you haven't already, is to go to nativenotify.com. You wanna go, up here and click this sign up free button. It's free to sign up. There's no credit card required. And that'll take you to a screen like this. Your first step is to click this create an app button. You wanna click uh, choose your framework. We're using React Native Expo. So I'm gonna click that one. That'll take you to a page like this. Um, now what we're gonna go through in this video is this start here guide. Once you follow this start here guide, you're uh, ready to send push notifications to all of your users. So your first step is to install these things. So you can just copy this, uh, bring up your app. Now I'm using Expo managed workflow. So you do not have to eject out of Expo. You can stay in uh, Expo and use native notify. So uh, you can open up a terminal in your project. Just paste that there. I'm going to go ahead and install those things. Okay. And step two, it says in your app.js file, import this. So I'm going to come up here. This is my app.js file. I already have it open. I'm going to paste that right there. The next step says to make sure you're using a hook function for your app function. This is really important. If uh, your app function is not a hook, a hook function, um, it'll break. Um, all a hook function is, is it's sort of like a combination of a, a traditional class component and a functional component. It kind of mixes them both together to where you can still use state in a functional component. Um, and it looks like this. Uh, export default function app. I won't go through that in this video. I'll make another video on exactly how hooks work in another video. Um, but this needs to be a hook function. Uh, if you're not quite sure what a hook function is or how it works, uh, there's a link right here that describes how it works. You can click on that link and that'll show you how hooks work. I'm already using a hook function, so I'll go to the next step. Your next step is to copy this. You'll notice your app ID and your app token is already put there for you. So you don't have to add that in. You can just copy this. Go to the top of your app function. Paste that right there. Congratulations, you're done. Uh, push notifications are already set up. So uh, if you go to the next step, it just says Expo Start. So I'm going to start my, uh, my server. It should bring up a page like this. Uh, if you go back to the instructions, it says you must open uh, your app up on either an iOS or an Android phone. So uh, if you're using Expo, you ought to know what Expo Go is. Expo Go is an app on the App Store. Um, it allows you to uh, see what your app looks like on an actual phone. You need to open it up on an actual phone um, or push notifications won't work. You have to open up uh, your app on a phone or push notifications won't work. If you have not already downloaded uh, Expo Go, you can just uh, open up the App Store on your phone and search for Expo Go. Uh, it'll look like this. I'll show you what it looks like on mine. Um, it looks like, like that. Go ahead and open that up. Uh, and again, if you have not already, there's a link right here where you can go to uh, download Expo Go. You want to open up your app. It looks something like this. Scan this code right here. Um, so there's something at the top that says scan. So I'm going to click scan and scan this to open up my app. Um, I think with iOS, uh, I'm not sure that there's a scan, but you can click. Um, there's there's other instructions in there on how to do that. So, um, but yeah, you just want to open up your app. And 
you'll notice it says you can now send a push notification. And I went back to my app in the terminal, it says you can now send a push notification. You successfully registered your native notified push token. So it's telling us it's already, it's good to go. So uh, the last step in the instructions is to test it out. Let's go ahead and send ourselves a push notification. This is my first push notification. This is my first message. All right, it said it's sent successfully. Let me check. There it is, it's right there. It appeared, this is my first push notification. So yeah, you'll notice uh, once you click this, it'll take you to this send page. What we're on right now is this send page right here. Um, and you'll notice there's a notification receipt here. It says I successfully sent this push notification uh, at this date and time. This was the title and the message. Um, so yeah, that's uh, Expo push notifications with Native Notify. A couple other things. I'll just review all the other uh, things you can do with Native Notify. Uh, one of the things is you can update the title. Uh, I'm going to update it to say Expo app. So I know that this is an Expo app. Uh, and then from then on, uh, on your home screen, when you log in, your app will be there waiting for you and you can click on it. Uh, and if you have successfully registered, it'll automatically take you to the send page. Uh, you'll notice here it says advanced settings. Uh, there's something called a, a data object. You can send data with your push notifications. Um, and these instructions here show you how to do that. Um, Basically, when you send data, you can see a push data object, and this is what it looks like on the front end. So we we added this just a second ago. Uh, you can also import something called get push data object, and you can paste that right there. And then within your use effect function, uh, which is like component did mount for hooks, um, you can get the value of that object. Uh, this is useful for any number of things. One of the things is if you want to redirect to a specific page or screen in your app, uh, maybe you, you send in a data object called screen name or something like that. Um, uh, and maybe you have a search page or something. Uh, well, you can send that in with your push notification. Once the user taps on the push notification, that value will show up here uh, as the push data object. Um, and I'll make another video on that soon. So uh, if you'd like to learn more about that, make sure to subscribe, hit the bell icon. Uh, I'll come out with one soon. Um, if you ever want to go back to your documentation, click here. And like I said, what we just did, uh, you're good to go for uh, iOS production, uh, iOS development, and Android development. But if you want to get uh, this up and running for uh, Android production. There is one more step. Uh, I made a video on it. Uh, it should pop up somewhere around here. Um, it doesn't take that long. It's, it's a very fast process. Basically, you'll just need to click this and follow the steps. You'll need to set up a Firebase cloud messaging system. And we just need some information from the settings there to integrate it in with our system. Um, the other thing here, indie push notifications, this uh, this video here, it'll walk you through how to send push notifications to individual users. So uh, what we just did will allow you to send push notifications to all of your users at once. Those are mass push notifications. But if you want to send uh, to just one single user at a time, you would come to this indie push notification setup guide. This will walk you through how to send push notifications to individuals. It's very simple. It's not difficult to use. Um, and the last thing that we have, this is super basic. We want to get more advanced than this eventually, but we have a basic analytics program. It only takes about five minutes to set up. And from then on, uh, once you set it up, you can come here and you can see daily reports of your analytics. So that's how that works. So yeah, that's a rundown of all the uh, different options you have for Expo push notifications using nativenotify.com. Uh, we come out with videos all the time. Make sure to subscribe, hit the bell icon. If you like this video, make sure to like the video. 
if you have any questions, be sure to comment below and I'll make sure to answer your questions. And if there's any type of video you'd like me to make, uh, be, be sure to comment below and I'll try my best to, to make a video on that topic soon.